Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to try to answer a question that I get asked all the time, which is how much better is the print quality of the Foreign Labs printer versus one of your FDM printers? I say one of because usually people compare to one specific one, usually the Prusa. Um, so I've got a part here that was printed on the Prusa. This came out really good. This was printed at 0.1 millimeter layer height. This is uh, just a th thing that is printed off Thingiverse for someone, a friend of mine whose printer is broken at the moment. And you can see, if it'll focus here, stop looking at my face camera. Um, like the little curves and everything on the side are pretty nice. But the top, you can see a pattern. Stop. There we go. Focus. There we go. Um, you can see the pattern from where the nozzle moves around. Now, to the touch, it feels pretty smooth. You don't really feel it too much. And I think one layer of primer would basically get rid of that pattern. But it's there. And you can see the print quality when you see it up close like this is uh, pretty apparent. I mean, if it's this far away, almost don't even notice. But up close, you can see it. So now, let's take a look at the Form 2 prints, which are ridiculously clean. This is right off the printer, no cleanup. And uh, it is it looks like a model part, which means I can print stuff off of the Form 2 and literally mold it directly without having to do any sanding or cleanup, as long as I put the support materials in the right places, because the little support trees leave a little cleanup on uh, where they touch the surface, but that's about it. So here's a comparison between the two next to each other. This was printed at 0.1 millimeter layer height on the Prusa, and this was printed at 0 0.05 millimeter layer height on the Form 2. And this uh, took six hours and 20 minutes, I think. And this one took about almost the same time, print at the same layer height. And you can see just a huge difference. The main difference is that this one probably cost me like 30 cents to print. And this one costs like a few bucks easily, multiple dollars. A, a liter of the resin to print this is 150 bucks for a little tiny liter. So 20 bucks of, for a whole spool of filament that I barely put a dent in. And, uh, you know, a good chunk of resin here that's not cheap. So price-wise, considerably more expensive. But quality-wise, you can see why it's worth using, especially if you're making a pattern to make molds of or need a part that's really detailed. So anyway, hopefully that... Uh, Gave a good comparison for you guys. Sorry for the focus thing. I will be using a DSLR here really soon. I'm setting one up right now that uh, it's charging at the moment. And then uh, I'm going to try to start doing more videos with that so people don't have to complain about my crazy focus issues on my camera. Woo! All right, bye.